is Kazakh. Thank you. So this is the coat of arms of the city of Karaganda. According to the old tradition, which uh, has become really old, we are uh, giving you this Matryoshka nestling doll. Thanks a lot. I have a lot of memories connected with Matryoshkas. Uh, it's very important for me. Uh, so I actually uh, tested the radiation uh, radiation equipment for uh, in space, and this equipment uh, is called Matryoshka. So this is your image here on this doll. <laughs> radiation protection equipment has the name Matryoshka. <laughs> Tracy, uh, is there a likeness to real you? Yes, it bears a likeness. So, dear friends, uh, now we give uh, the floor to the um, uh, colleague of the, to the embassy representative of Kazakhstan. Dear friends, dear heroes, I would like to congratulate you with successful landing and I wish you to go to space many times more and to go back again and again and uh, go back uh, successfully again. So when you go to space, you resolve very important problems and issues for the economies of both our countries. And when you go back, you continue your work, which is very important for the whole humanity. So you went to space, and in these books, uh, when you were leaving, you uh, left your signatures. Thank you. Thank you for the books. Now I give the floor to our space heroes. The commander first. Thanks a lot. As they say, for uh, kind and warm words, uh, it is very important. We feel now really that we are on Earth. And we are greeted so warmly. The weather is so nice. Uh, the land of Kazakhstan is so welcome. And we saw it from space, and it is wonderful. And we knew in advance that the weather will be fine. For us, yesterday we, do reconnaissance, we did reconnaissance uh, and uh, we uh, actually made a few pictures of Baikonur, and I think that maybe we should also uh, give a hint to your chicken to do the same before they land. So again, the weather is so nice, and we feel the human warmth here that greeted us here on Earth. Thanks a lot. We actually miss uh, land and miss this warmth very much. And I am so glad that the first breath that I took after six months uh, in space, uh, actually, I took here on this wonderful land. Thanks a lot. I would like to uh, support what uh, and join to the words that Sasha said. Uh, I would like to thank you very warmly. Uh, that you greeted us on this friendly uh, land of Kazakhstan. As Kalabyov, the uh, flight director, told us when you open the hatch, uh, the step air is so thick you can cut it with a knife. And I felt it this time. 
I even had tears in my eyes when I opened the hatch and breathed this air. And I would like to make a um, comment that our flight was prepared by a lot of people, a lot of specialists. So I would like to uh, express my uh, gratitude, very deep gratitude to all the doctors, trainers, instructors, and specialists. Thank you very much for all you did for us. I want to uh, add to what uh, Sasha and Misha have said and thanking you for this very warm reception and this wonderful hospitality. It's a very overwhelming feeling having uh, just returned from a mission that was uh, such an an incredible journey in our lives and to have uh, started it from here and to have made it our, uh, our return to here. Makes us not only a very special day, but um, all of us are a special uh, moment for all of us uh, that you were a part of our mission from the beginning to the end. So I thank you, my family thanks you, and uh, um, our crew thanks you. Uh, uh, so I was um, expecting, uh, you know, I was want, uh, looking much forward to eat an apple. And thank you so much that it was a very a little, a small detail, but you remember that I like apples very much. Uh, Actually, I decided to be uh, separate from the collective, so to say, and I asked cucumbers. So I was not dreaming about cucumbers during the whole flight. You see, they send us uh, apples and other fruit or oranges to the station, but uh, cucumbers, they are um, actually spoil very fast, so they don't sell, send us cucumbers. So uh, I was dreaming about them. So it's the peculiarity of my body. <laughs> So I asked my doctor to uh, get cucumbers when I land, and he gave me some cucumbers. I like apples. Um, yes, I have to say that uh, the apple was refreshing, and we've all missed fresh fruit. And so we've seen apples on orbit. Nothing tasted as good as that apple did. <laughs> a fun landing. <laughs> I also would like to uh, give a finishing comment here. Uh, so, you know, maybe because we ate, uh, tasted this fruit, the air seemed even more tasty. Uh, thank you for such beautiful and tasty apples. So the very last question. The off-nominal situation, well, uh, he, I have to finish as a comment. We had only one off-nominal situation, uh, the most serious one that uh, uh, de uh, delayed our landing by one day, but we actually are supposed to be ready for this off-nominal situation. I was happy that we found the reason, the uh, uh, 
root cause very soon and uh, with not so uh, big effort. So we managed to find out uh, and it didn't take too much effort. Uh, thank you, dear friends. Let's take a final photo. <laughs> While you are here, what, uh, I have another question. What about women on board the ship? Uh, well, uh, most of the time it was, it was very good. Tracy, first of all, welcome home. Tell me how you're feeling. Oh, Josh, I'm feeling good. I, um, I have to say everything uh, looks straight, but I, I think I'm leaning a little bit everywhere I walk, but other than that, I'm feeling great. So, you know, you trained a lot for this mission, about two and a half years. Was was the landing and, and the launch, too, was it kind of what you expected, or was it a little bit different, or what? You know, so many of my uh, friends who have gone before me have described both events to me, launch and landing, and um, so I, I went through those with a little anticipation, um, and uh, the actual uh, the actual events didn't disappoint. It was it was an e-ticket, and um, it was uh, I wouldn't say as much what I expected. It was it was more than I anticipated, but it was uh, it was a fun ride. It seems that the station really didn't want to uh, let go of your Soyuz yesterday. So <laughs> talk a little bit about what happened yesterday and how you guys uh, reacted to it. Well, I have to say that uh, I don't think any of us were really ready to let go of the station. It's a, the ISS is a is a, a wonderful place to be, and quite a privilege. Uh, so, um, I think it was pretty. Uh, um, uh, I don't know, par for the course that we we weren't uh, being let go by it. But um, yeah, yesterday was a, it was a great dress rehearsal. I think we were <laughs> we got a chance to get in our suits and and feel the pressure of the timeline and get into our seats. The the waiting a, a rev or two was uh, was I think the hardest part, as we were so much looking forward to going home, but having the mixed feelings of wanting to stay, and uh, then uh, the uh, waiting to find out if uh, we were really going to do it. So it was a it was an odd day, but then to open the hatch and come back and see our crewmates and try to find our stuff that we had put away in in, in bags for for, for trash uh, was a, an experience I never thought I was gonna <laughs> have. So it was a good day though. So when you look back over the entire expedition, you guys had a lot of stuff that uh, that happened on board the station, including the ammonia pump and the spacewalk and and all that. Talk a little bit about you know what you'll remember whenever you look back on it. Oh wow! I, you know, it overwhelms me when I think about all the things I want to remember from uh, just the the moment of launch to to um, coming out of the Soyuz for a couple of days and, and entering the what I felt like was a spa resort of the ISS, and then just the day to day living and the unexpected pump failure um, and all the events that surrounded us preparing for a spacewalk, but not that one, and then everything that unfolded from that point to um, just every day looking out the window. It, uh, you can get quite emotional uh, looking out there because no no picture you take, no, no picture you draw can ever really capture what you're seeing and the magnitude of it. And we were so blessed to be there when we were um, that the cupola arrived before us, just shortly before us. So we're one of the first crews to, to get to enjoy that in miraculous view on a daily basis. Of course, when we weren't closing the shutters for, you know, <laughs> thruster firings or anything, but um, I, uh, I remember, what I remember the most, and what I hope I'll always remember the most, are those views, because I asked God, help me remember this, because I have to be able to describe this to everybody, because we're all not gonna be able to go up and uh, enjoy that and soak it in. I hope I, I hope I am able to do it. <laughs> So what's going to be the first thing you do whenever you get back to uh, get back home to Houston? Houston, I bet it's going to be hug my mom. She's just going to be right there. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends and my family and hopefully my husband when uh, when he gets off the ship. Well, good job and welcome back. Thanks, Josh. Thank you very much.